Yo, what's up everybody? It's King Wolf. Welcome to today's video. Now we're still playing Madden 20. It's all we got, man. I was gonna watch the Madden Bowl. I turned it on really quick. Check this out. I turned it on really quick. My man's was down 16-0 with 55 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And he just runs the ball over and over. I had to turn it off, bro. I couldn't do it. I couldn't see Madden in that state anymore, man. I'm a passer. I can't see the ball being ran in fourth quarter with 50 seconds left. Just over and over. I, don't, I just don't get it, man. All right. I mean, maybe you guys love that, but I, I can't do it, man. I can't just sit there and watch that. I need to see some pass. I need to see a mixture of everything and some and some cheese, okay? Because Madden's cheese. That brings us to today's video. Welcome to another cheese glitch cheating play. I'm your host, King Wolf. Make sure you drop a like. Let's try to get this one here to at least at least a hundred likes. You know what I mean? We're already on the like the the curve. We're on the last life of Madden 20 so just hit the like man help me out because the views is down right the bills is due you guys know what I'm saying we're in the New England Patriots playbook and it's gonna be the empty ace Patriot I'm gonna show you guys against cover three uh, one play TD and I guess a glitch play well, actually it's not a guess it really is a glitch play I'm gonna show show both of them to you guys from the same play you can do it with any play in this uh, uh, gun empty ace Patriot as long as you just run the setups that I show you so Pat's double seams is the one I'm gonna talk about first uh, I'm gonna flip the play because I'm on the left hash if you're on the right hash you flip the play have the red play art to the left what did I just do so Pat's double seams. I'm gonna flip the play I'm on the left hash I want the red play art to the right so it's 3 deep. So I'm just gonna snap the ball. Actually, you know what? It would work on three deep as well, to be honest with you guys. It, what kind of throw is that, Russell Wilson? <laughs> we're, we're running to the right, and you throw it behind him. Come on, bro. Better not be doing that in the NFL this year, bro. All right, here we go. So for this right here, to make this work, you're gonna have to take Y, put him on a real streak, which lock it right there. And then we're gonna take A, put him on a streak. That's our tight end or four. I don't know, bro. I, I wanna say it's, it's our fullback, okay? Uh, and then Disley is on a drag and then B on a comeback route. My bad, bros. I don't know the personnel all too well. I'm always cycling in between different teams. I'm not one of those people, man, that I can recite names. I just know plays and I know how to win. I don't know names and stats and where people went to college and what they eat for dinner. And all. I, I just don't know all that, bro. Okay, I'm sorry. So this is the setup. Look at this right here, okay? And then we're going to double team outside guy because I'm looking for the red play art. Now, to make this work, you can't run it like this. Let me show you what I mean. If I run it like this, right, I'm looking for Y, but look what happens. Not gonna work, that's a pick, right? So to make this work, this is what you're gonna have to do. You're gonna run the same setup, streak Y, streak A, drag RB, be on a comeback route, double team outside guy. So to make this work and make the glitch happen, all you're gonna do is motion lock it in and snap the ball. Once you motion him in, snap the ball, the glitch starts to work. You see that? <laughs> the money play master, bro. All right. My intros and all that might might be basic, maybe a little confusing to some of you guys, but you know, we're the money play master. Okay, check this out. Same thing. Be on a comeback, RB on a drag, A. Now, right here in this cover three, you don't know where the blue is. Could be on the right. Typically, if someone leaves auto flip on. Well, actually, you know, auto flip on and the blue might go to the strong side, which were, you know, three receivers on the left side. However, if you can't find the Y guy, see, you see how he's to the right over here? Then we can just dip it off. You don't want to take that chance, then just dump it off because I wouldn't throw that against that blue. If I'm playing in a real game situation and I see that the blue's on that side, I'm not throwing it that way. Now, if you're, it's going to get us to our next part, okay? Because sometimes you never know hey the blues on that side but if the blues in the middle it's a touchdown already it's already a touchdown I just got to angle it over here to the right you got to pass lead this joint to the right see I've ran so many plays like this in Madden in my gaming time since previous previous Madden's I already know when it's gonna be a touchdown now if you look at this safety he's back a little bit further could be a little bit harder but still could be a touchdown. This is a potential touchdown again. As long as you run the setups that I'm showing you guys, bro. And then motion him in. If you don't motion him in, you're in trouble. Okay, that's right there. I just, all I have to do, okay, well, lock it. I don't know. Wow. Well, he actually caught that. All right. Nice, nice play, lock it. Not, not bad. But if you have someone that's fast on you, they're going to keep up with you, bro. So you got to be careful. Like I said, 
you just got to be careful, man, because it could be match, could be stock cover three. If they make adjustments, bro, like pass commit, they, I mean, they could put different blues out there to stop it. But I'm going to show you guys how to counter that as well right here next. So one more time. We don't know where the blue is. He's on the right side. Boom. So if he's on the right side, I'm going to go ahead and just dump this off and just get my yards in, you know. Now, if the blue continuously stays on that side, this is going to get us to the glitch play, the glitch aspect of this whole thing. You can glitch cover three within this formation on either side. And what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the left side first. What we're going to do is we're going to put B on a comeback. We're going to put A on a streak. Okay. We're going to put R, B on a hitch. Now, you guys remember, I told you guys, comebacks and hitches in the previous videos are very underrated routes because they're glitchy. They change what the defense does. I always tell you guys, when you're playing defense, you want to control their defense. You want to know what the defense is already going to do, you know, if, if they're leaving clouds and stuff like that out there. So when I snap the ball, let's say I, I set up my little glitch setup right here. This is a glitch setup right here. And his cover three reacts the way I think it's going to react. Well, then I'll just start hitting him with all these glitch plays until he fixes it. Once he fixes it, then I can open up the field in the back again and throw it over the top of him because now he's compensating for these glitch plays. This is where you have to get smart, man. Okay, this is what they call tendencies right i'm looking at his tendencies is he continuously letting his cloud he's gonna have to go over there and use this unless he makes the proper adjustments and when he makes the proper adjustments you know if you lab this and you practice it then you start countering his adjustment so right here what's gonna happen is the rb route is going to glitch out the purple the seam the cloud the hard flap all of them in cover three he's gonna glitch them out uh he's gonna He's going to break to the RB route, the hitch route, and then the comeback route is going to be open every single time. Here we go. Here we go. Go. He comes back open every single time. I'm going to run this over and over so you guys can see what I mean. Streak A, RB hitch, B comeback route. I'm on the left hash, and then we could try it on the right side. I want to say it's going to work on the right side as well. Uh, I know other formations it does, but I haven't really run it on the right side. But watch. Here we go again. Same thing. Boom, boom. There he goes. He breaks every single time. This is the glitchiest stuff. The Money Play Master, shout out to me. Come on, man. Hit a light, bro. Let's try the right side because I don't know, man. Maybe I'm going to try it stock and then we'll see if uh, motioning uh, uh, the, the tight end or the fullback actually works. Boom. Yep, it works. You see that? Well, no, no, no. It didn't work. He didn't break. He didn't break to the hitch. Let's try it again. He didn't break to the hitch. I'm not going to lie. He didn't break to the hitch. It didn't look normal. Here we go again. Okay, yeah, he kind of broke there. So you see what I'm saying? You can run it on either side, this setup, from this formation. It doesn't work like that in every formation, so don't be just setting it up in any formation. There's only certain formations that it works on. So let's go ahead and run it again on the right side. Does he break? Yeah, he breaks to it. Yeah, you see? This glitch, com this combination setup, is it glitches out cover three. I'm telling you guys, why well, don't run cover three? As my primary, man, I won't do it, okay? Because of this stuff, bro. Cover three is so easy. That's why I tell you guys I love when people run cover three on me because, like, they haven't seen this stuff. Look at this. The hitch and the comeback route. Watch. He's going to break to it, and that's all I need. Now, if it's a match, you got to be careful with that blue because that blue will come down and play that comeback route. So you got to be careful uh, if it's a match. So here we go. Same thing on the right side and you can run this right or left like he'll break to it he'll break there he goes that's all we're waiting for like right there possession catch that man don't be like me don't try to grab the ball and take off running okay here let me show you guys you can even low ball this too that's another thing start executing practicing for madden 21 bro to execute the low ball there you go low ball boom possession catch that yards every single time now like i said there's like I don't show it in my gameplays, homies, but in the Saints playbook, I have a lot of formations that do this. So, you know, not a lot of people know this. I'm, this is like exclusive for you guys. You guys are seeing what's going on, bro. I mean, look, this is, this is gonna be over and over. He's gonna, oh, that's a match. So, okay, look, that's what I mean right there in match. Good thing that I threw that. You see in match, the guy will actually play him. So you gotta be careful with that, man. You gotta be able to realize if it's match or not. Me, I'm not, I'm just playing like a bum right now. I'm in practice mode, so I don't, I don't care. But in game, I'm really paying attention. Right here, he breaks to it. He breaks down. Boom. You know, I, I don't care. I'll run back. Come on, Russell Wilson. What are you doing, bro? You trying to tackle me? 
So you see the two plays, you got the one play TD, and then you have the glitch for cover three just out of this. Now, someone's gonna tell me, well, if they're just gonna all out blitz you, I wanna show you guys something, man. When someone's trying to all out blitz you, okay? This is what I want you to do, okay? Start. Let's say they blitz this guy, right? Everybody's coming in. And then he's gonna use her probably the cloud, okay? Whenever someone's doing this and people are like, oh, if you're in a five wide, I'll just blitz you crazy. No, no, because once I see you doing that, this is this is what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to go ahead and streak the outside receivers, okay? And I'm going to hitch the inside receivers. So it'll be like this. And then A, I'll probably just use them as a blocker. But I want you guys to see when someone heavy blitzes you, boom, boom, you just find the open guy. And, and it's just when someone uses that cover four all out blitz, it's curtains because you can hit them on either side. Not to mention, out routes against cover four drop are just are just crazy, right? But if they all out blitz you like this, look, see? So someone's gonna come, they're gonna bring in, they're gonna blitz everybody here. And then my man's probably gonna stand in the gap, right? It doesn't matter because like I said, once, you, once you're able to detect that, you just double hitch, streak the outside receivers. Double hitch, streak the outside receivers. Just that's all you gotta do. You can even drag A if you want or use them as a blocker. But like right here, boom. Just hit the hitch all day, every day until they stop blitzing you. Once they stop blitzing you, then go back to us, go back to passing. So let's say they fake it. Let's say they come over here. Okay. Well, let's say I got my hitch on the right. I, I have my comeback route as well. So let's say they zone all linebackers. So let's just say they're faking the blitz, right? To bring people down. Boom. He's got linebackers blitzing. Doesn't matter because I can roll out with a skate artist. But like I'm telling you guys, Use the hit routes and the comeback routes, man. They're really good. Love you guys, man. Peace.